Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make this very cute wallet, as you can see. So it has the little pockets on the inside. You can put your IDs. We have the bigger pocket to put your money and everything. As you can see. And we also have another smaller pocket over here. Okay, and then when you close it up. We have uh, the little flower here that I bought at the DIY store. This one is optional. And guys, get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start by making a chain 91. That is 91. Okay, so we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4 five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and continue until you have a chain 91 okay so after we are done with the chain 91 now we are going to start with the first row and in the first row we're going to start in the second chain from the hook and we're going to do single crochet across so we'll have a total of 90 single crochets so starting from here we'll do single crochet and single crochet single crochet okay and we'll continue doing single crochet in every chain all the way until the end okay so when we get to the end we're going to do a chain one and turn Okay, and then again, we'll do single crochets all the way across. So we'll have a total of 90 single crochets. So you just continue and do single crochet in every stitch in the previous row. And you continue all the way until you get to the end. Okay, so again, when you get to the end, we're going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now from the next round, which is uh, row three until row 10, which is a total of eight rows, we are going to repeat the same pattern. So we're just going to do single crochets across. Then when you get to the end, you do a chain one and turn. So repeat that until you get to the 10th row. Okay, so for the next eight rows, repeat the same pattern and then we'll start the 11th row together Okay, so after the 11th row, this is how your work should look like, as you can see. So now, I'm just going to do a chain 1 and turn. Okay, so now, for the 11th row, we are going to do to slip stitch in the next 30 stitches. So we'll do 30 slip stitches. So we'll do slip stitch 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and continue until you have thirty slip stitches. Okay, so after we are done with the 30 slip stitches, so now in the remaining 60 stitches, which is until the end, we are going to do single crochets all the way across. So we're just going to continue and do single crochet in all the remaining stitches. Like that. But before I continue, I'm just going to uh, get my marker. So I'm just going to get my marker. And here where I started doing the single crochets, I'm just going to place my marker over here. Because we're going to need it for the next row. So I just tie it there. and then we'll continue doing single crochets all the way until we get to the end okay so continue doing until here Okay, so when you get to the end, we are going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in this row, um, which is the 12th row, we are going to do single crochets all the way until we get here where we put our marker. So we are going to have 60 single crochets. Okay, so we just continue and do single crochet. Okay, so continue doing single crochets until we get here. Okay, so when I get where the marker is, I'm going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, and again in the next row, which is the 13th row, we are going to repeat again and do single crochets all the way until the end. So we'll have a total of 60 single crochets. And then you'll do chain one, turn around and do single crochets until here. So we'll have 60 single crochets. Okay. So we are going to repeat that until we get to row 20. Okay, so for uh, for the next eight rows until row 20, we are going to do 60 single crochets all the way across. And always remember to do a chain one in both ends when you're done. So do chain one, turn. When you do again, do chain one and turn. Okay, so I'll see when you're done with the 20th row. So that we start the 13th row together. Okay, so guys, after we are done with the 20th row, this is how uh, our work looks like. Okay, so now we are going to do a chain one and turn around. So now in the 21st row, uh, we are going to do single crochet. I mean, we are going to slip stitch uh, 30 in the next 30 stitches. So we'll have 
study slip stitches so I'll continue and do slip stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and you'll continue until you have 30 slip stitches Okay, so guys after the 30s uh, slip stitches now we are going to do single crochet all the way to the end in the remaining 30 stitches okay so we're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet but before we continue here where we just started doing single crochets I'm just going to place my marker over here like that okay and then I'll continue doing my single crochets okay so continue doing single crochet so continue all the way until you get here at the end Okay, so when I get to the end, I'm going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now we are going to do single crochets all the way until we get here where our marker is. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to do single crochets. And continue doing single crochets until here okay so when I get where the marker is I'm going to do a chain one and turn okay so now from the next row which is row 23 until row 50 we are going to do the same do single crochets all the way to the end chain one turn and do again single crochets so we'll have a total of 30 single crochets in each round okay so now continue with the same pattern until you get to row 50 which is the next uh, 28 rows and then we'll finish up together okay so guys I added a couple of more rows I added four more rows so I did until row 54 just because I want this part to be longer and to cover the whole wallet so as you can see this is how it looks like the whole thing like that so now we are going to sew the parts together but before that let's just finish up here so I'm just going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn and then I'll do the finishing later when I'm sewing like that okay so now uh, to put the parts together what we are going to do first is we are going to take this part and fold it like that so this is going to be the inside part so I'm just going to fold that part like that as you can see okay and then this part i'm just going to fold it back like that so this is going to be where i put my cards and this one also you can put your money and everything okay like that and then this upper part I'm just going to take it fold it like that I could say almost in half 
all how you want it to look like and then i'm going to take this part and it's going to cover up like that okay so what we're going to do is we are going to sew using uh using a needle and uh yarn you're going to sew here on the side until here and you're going to sew here and at the bottom here okay and then again we are going to come and sew here until here and then we're going to sew again here until here and then now for closing up you can just put uh, something to hold uh, this part together it could be a button or anything that you want and then for me I'm just going to put this flower over here as you can see I just bought this one here at the DIY store so I'm just going to sew it over here okay and it's gonna look so pretty okay so let's join all the parts together okay so guys as you can see I've already finished um, joining the parts so we have the small pocket over here we have this other one where you can put all your money you can put your IDs over here and we also have an extra pocket over here okay so I'm going to put a little pin or button over here uh, just to make uh, the two parts join up together and also as you can see I did a little single crochets over the edges you can see for a little good finish up so that's how I did and then I embroidered my flower I used fabric yarn to attach it at the top over here then I used threaded yarn on uh, these edges just to make it firm and join them together so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time bye